Hello everybody and welcome back! Today I will be talking about a lot of new information released by Bungie themselves at TwitchCon. Also, thanks for clicking on this video and if you're interested in learning on how to glitch into a secret DLC area or find a massive lake that you can sparrow surf on, click the first link in the description. Let's get started. I would like to mention that this video may exceed the 10 minute mark, but I will try to make it as short but as detailed as possible. So the main topic that Bungie was discussing is seasons, so let's get into that. So in Bungie's words, each season in Destiny 2 allows new clans to start fresh with other more established clans. Seasons are meant to focus players of Destiny 2 and let them know when to come back to play the game for new content. There are four seasons in a year for Destiny 2. Each season is meant to make big changes to Destiny 2. Notice that the big changes was with quotation marks. Each season will provide changing themes for the player experience and sound sandbox tuning, new features, more content. Notice the quotation marks again. Next up, the dawning is coming back. The dawning will bring ice hockey and snowball fights to the tower and snow forts on the farm. Snowballs will be added across the game, including strikes and more. The image you see now is the dawning armor. I'm not entirely sure if it's the armor for Destiny 2 or from Destiny 1 because the dawning is a Christmas event that is brought back from Destiny 1, but the armor looks sick and I'm not sure on how the snowballs and snowball fights will work as they are also adding it in PVE. And I also realized that the last image was stretched, so here's what it looks like normally. Here's some more news. Season 2 will change the Iron Banner loot system. It will offer weapons by direct purchase using tokens and legendary shards. There will be one more Iron Banner in Season 1. The changes mentioned will only be taken in Season 2. Ornaments will be added onto Iron Banner armor. They will unlock by doing in-game activities, only available that season. So those ornaments are only exclusive to that season. More Iron Banner weapons will be added, and an energy hand cannon was mentioned. Here's an image Bungie posted of the Iron Banner weapons. Don't quote me on this, but I do believe that these will be the weapons you'll be able to earn during the next Iron Banner. And while we're talking about the Iron Banner gear, here's the armor but with the new ornaments equipped on it. Also, Trials of the Nine gear will also have ornaments for each season. Trials of the Nine and Iron Banner weapons will be added in subsequent seasons with different perks. Meaning that each season the weapons will return, but each season the Iron Banner and Trials of the Nine weapons will have different perks. Thank you, Bungie. Now here's something new that Bungie is going to add. Clarion Call is an event that gives double XP for playing the game with a clan mate. It will start before Season 2. Clarion Call will not always require a clan collaboration. That's just how the first one will work. Now I just have a bunch of extra information that you should definitely know. Some of them is kind of big, some of them is more small, but you should know either way. So Bright Ingrams are getting a refresh with each season. Many of the emotes and items will be removed with each season. Shaders do not disappear with each season. More shaders will be added with each season. Season 2 will add another Crucible map. Clan banner perks will reset with each season with a fresh selection of perks. If your clan reaches rank 6 by the end of season 1 you will earn a red and silver staff that holds the banner. Three Bungie streams are coming in November to discuss seasons and the next expansion. Next up, one more faction rally is coming in season 1. It will add new weapons to earn, new winners reward for whichever faction wins the rally, and new shaders for the armor. Now I do realize that I lied earlier on in the video when I said that this might exceed the 10 minute mark. Well, drop a like because I was able to cover everything you need to know in about half the time. You're welcome. Anyway, I thought I would top this video off with a little slideshow with all the confirmed exotics so far. They all look super sick and I love Bungie for actually making a lot of right choices with this next season.
Anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more content. I put a lot of effort into making this video completely radical, so please reward me for my kind deeds. And if you're so kind, please click the video at the top left to know how to glitch into an awesome DLC area. Do it before it's patched. See you all in the very next video.